these are going to be the last three images I'm going to do from the Cricut light cartridge called Live Simply. This is the grasshopper and the base image called for you to cut out the main body and a leg. Um, probably should have figured that out when I did that, that it probably needed to be green. Mine is cream. Um, the shifted base layer is um, in a dark green and then the layer um, is in a brown. Um, the next pieces that come to that are, are probably the shifted layer and again that would be the um, it looks like the parts that go in between the body and I think I'm going to leave mine white. The next image that I'm going to do is the grouping of flowers and it's called flower 3 and I cut out the the base in cream and all these images are cut at one and a half inches and two inches um, the um, shifted base layer is cut out in a light pink and the layer is cut out in a dark green and then the shifted layer is cut out in a dark pink I am also going to be doing the flower number five and it's um, cut out again in a cream, the base is a cream, and the shifted layer, the shifted base layer is cut out in a pink, dark pink, and then the layer is cut out in a red. There is also a shifted layer, and I decided not to use that one also. Okay, so I think these are the hardest ones I've done yet. These are definitely not for um, someone that is your first time using the Cricut it because you'll get frustrated um, I think maybe by me doing the white it's probably maybe a little bit easier for you to understand what I'm trying to talk about um, first of all um, when you cut out the base layer um, the shifted base layer you get the dark green that you see here when I looked at the feet which are down in the front um, I thought they went the other way around. So when you go to put these back on, if you have not left them on your paper so you can see the direction that they go, remember that the part that looks the longest is the thigh. So it's just like your regular body, your thigh is bigger than your foot. That might help you when you go to place these back on your base image. I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying, but I'll try to point. The part up here at the top, when it's not on, the grasshopper it looks like it should be the foot and in, in no way will fit on this image so you definitely have to make sure that you have that highest part up for the thigh and then you have the foot then the other thing is you also should make sure like with everything in this cartridge um, test and make sure before you glue that it is in the right position and that's just about the grasshopper then the other one that's very difficult is the flower three um, and I think it's probably a little bit difficult because um, you have to try to figure out okay now which piece goes with which flower and I think it's kind of laid out in the handbook so you can kind of understand what piece is supposed to go with which piece but um, I went ahead and relayed this out so you can kind of like get an idea um, of what I'm talking about um, the first flower has um, the, um, it's really basically kind of set up like the handbook. If you look at it, um, it goes in the same order, but it was kind of hard to understand that that's what it did. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe by you just looking at this, you can see what I'm talking about. And I will go ahead and still put these together um, layer by layer so you can understand. But to lay them out like this, after you get them all cut, it kind of helps you know you've got the right piece in the right place. That's it. I've constructed the flowers as best as I can to show you what I'm trying to talk about in terms of putting the pieces together. There was also pieces that were cut in the base layer that I'm not using because they were white um, leaves and I decided not to use those in this. So maybe if you cut out your base in green you won't have as much of an issue but um, I was kind of confused then as to what color um, to cut out the layer because to me that looks like it should have been green. So um, 
I'm not really sure. It looks maybe like they, the intention was to be red. Your base, according to the handbook, that your base should have been cut out in red. So um, just thought I'd leave you with that tip. I've also added the next layer to the um, the fifth or the flower that's the fifth flower, and all it needs is its last layer. Yay! I'm finished with all the images I plan to make from the Live Simply Cricut Light cartridge, and here's my grasshopper, which again I think is probably the worst image to try to construct from this cartridge. Um, I did not use the shifted layer on that, and that would be the, the white on the body. Um, you really do need to um, test your pieces before you put them on, and <clears throat> the white leg that you see on the outside, um, again, they probably had it be a green. Um, you need to kind of like place that on so you know where to put this little itty bitty brown piece underneath that leg, because if you put it anywhere, it won't work. Um, everything is cut to fit exactly um, the way it is. It's really like doing an advanced puzzle um, without having a really clear pattern in front of you because you cannot really see them in the handbook that, that you're given. Um, so that's the grasshopper. And then here are the flowers that I did. And again, these flowers are the flowers number three. And I'm sure my variation is a little bit different than what their variation is in the book, but it worked for me, um, just to give you an idea of how they look. And then this was, I believe, flower number five. And yes, it is. And that's the way that looks um, using the cream bases. Like I said, I used cream bases for everything that I made um, for the Live Simply cartridge. And that's it, and they're all ready for my project.